hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're going to do the makeup look i'm going to show you how i achieved the makeup look that you've seen and as usual i'm going to start off with my eyebrows i love doing my eyebrows first because they frame the face and they give you like um a structure that you can follow yes so i'm just filling in the outline of the brows first using a pencil and then i'm going to fill in the interior of that outline properly um, using the same same pencil before I proceed to take an eyebrow wax and make sure that it is all sealed in and nicely done So what I'm doing here is that I'm just trying to create hair like structures or by basically putting strokes of the pencil inside the interior of that outline and now I'm using the pastel eyebrow wax which is in the shade dark brown and I'm just using it like to seal the eyebrows in so that they can last long, be waterproof and sweat proof. And now I'm just going in with an eyebrow one just to make sure that the wax is like evenly distributed among the strands. In this step we are defining our brows and by defining I mean to make them look more visible and specifically we are using a concealer which is the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Phone That's, and it has to be a few shades lighter so that the eyebrows can pop, they can be more visible, you know, if the contrast between the light and the dark brows makes the, basically makes the brows more visible and that's what we are going for. I'm just blending that concealer properly so that at least it doesn't look very stark. Once we're done with the eyebrows, we're now going to prime our face. And what I'm using is a Maybelline primer. And I'm just applying it mostly in my T-zone, like the oily areas of my skin. Because oil tends to make the makeup come off. So you want to apply on your T-zone and the oily areas of your face. Or you can just apply all over your face if you have an oily face in general and i'm just applying concentrating on my t-zone yeah just using a finger basically now we're going to take a concealer and i'm going to use this concealer as an eyeshadow primer and uh, i'm just using a brush to tap it in uh, basically the purpose of an eyeshadow primer is to make your eyeshadow last longer and also to make it more visible so now i'm just going to take a dark green shade out of uh, the palette that i recently got from asos which is the i heart revolution turkish delight palette and i'm just applying it all around the eyelid i want to create a halo effect and i've taken a lighter shade of green uh, it's sort of like a shimmer shade so i'm applying it in the center of the eyelid only because as i said i want to create like a halo effect So from the same same palette i'm just going to get a glittery eyeshadow i believe it was in the shade lemon and it's just glitters basically and i'm just applying it in the center of my eye exactly snap in the center so i've popped on my lashes as you can see very extravagant lashes and i'm just using mascara to balance my eyelashes out so i'm just using mascara on the lower eyelids and this is a maybelline mascara in the shade black and then after that i am going to apply foundation and the foundation that i'm using is the clinique even better foundation in the shade spice which is a cool neutral shade just like my skin tone i have used a beauty blender to blend it all out and i missed that footage but now i'm just using concealer again but a different maybelline concealer in the shade caramel and i'm just applying it in the under my eyes along my nose on the sides and also on my forehead and my chin and my upper lip that is where i'm applying that concealer and then i'm just going in with a highlighter this is the nyx contour stick highlighter 
and I'm just applying it like on the sides and along the bridge of my nose. Then I proceeded to blend it all out with a flat brush before I go in with a beauty blender. Make sure after you've used the flat brush that you go in with a beauty blender because it will create a smoother finish. So for blush, I'm just going to go in with the Crayola Lip and Cheek Color in the shade Very Cherry. Um, and this is a really dark red shade. That's why I preferred it for my skin tone. Then I'm going to blend all that in with a flat brush again before I blend it in with a beauty blender. And I'm just patting it in instead of like applying it because it will form streaks if you do not pat it in. So I'm not just going to apply it, lightly apply for um, powder and I'm just using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So I'm just applying it in the areas that I applied concealer so that it can set. Also to brighten those areas. While that is setting, I am going to do my lips and I'm just going to use a black lip liner. And I'm going to apply it all along the, the lips, basically to define the lips. 